We also don't have any, uh, we don't have any crossovers or anything over here, and I don't have a design for doing them on a diagonal. So, I don't know what to do about that yet. Alright, that, and set this down, and up. I think that's something we're going to have to figure out. Although we can definitely start using this main line uh, for a couple of things, other than other than the auto parts that it was uh, designed for. All right, right here, all stone mines. All right, there goes the scrap metal train again. Nice to see him running. Now, I don't know how to connect this middle track here properly, actually. I think what I could do is just like this. And that means we'd only get two connected, but that's not too, too bad. If only they could be easily insulated. This is just planning for the future, basically, and because I wanted a four-track mainline. I'm not really sure what we're going to use all four tracks for. I, I haven't got a clue at this point. I feel like we should add another uh, thing here, though. Let's do this. Down. Underneath. Same to right at that. We could get this to go over here. This is the longest extension I've probably built for one thing. That's far away, you know? Although, okay, so let me get rid of this very briefly. Reattach it like this. This won't really do anything. <laughs> this won't really increase capacity of anything. We're basically just building a more janky junction underneath here for no purpose. Although it does mean that I can add a signal here, which is not necessarily bad, but it doesn't change anything. Actually, it's bad. Yeah, put that there. Yeah. Because if I put that there, then uh, the block that it's pointing at will be the same block that's behind it, so you'll it'll never let a train pass. Because a train can't pass into an occupied block, obviously. But the train is the one that's creating the occupied block, so it's. It's an infinite loop, essentially. You can't move past the signal because you're in the way of it. Looks like this stuff is working. Looks like my trucks are doing it. How are you doing with the scrap metal? Empty. Ah, that's unfortunate. Didn't you just get a drop off? Yes, no, maybe? Picking up anything? No. Nope. Last month? No, okay, whatever. God damn it. Where'd you screw up? Where's your waypoint two? Oh. 
Well, you should have another waypoint, probably here. And then, honest to goodness, another one here. Waypoint overload, but you know, what works, works. Good job, you stopped there. Locked up the other guy. Shameful. How's this doing? Oh, not well, not well. I think it's time to add more trams. Like, many more trams. How much is waiting? 477 tons. Yeah. Okay. The tram army is about to increase in size. Like, I think it should dramatically increase in size, but that's just me. Alright, shift is underground, not bridge. Alright. You can totally get away with building subways in this game, though. It's pretty cool. Alright, and we can get away with that. The station can get bigger. Let's build trams. And I don't think they need routes. Should add one more to every one more to everything. But it shouldn't dip that low. I don't like that. That's not good. I don't like the fact that the uh, that the happiness of the industry, I don't remember the actual name of it. What is it called? Ooh, there's a thing way out there. Uh, do you think we can pave a rail line to it? The answer is probably yes. Through here? Maybe. You know, if we punched through this and then just followed the sort of contours... Actually, we'd probably have to tunnel through here pretty bad. This would be a pretty big tunnel. To get to one grain place. Yeah, but don't I want to do full coverage? I want to go everywhere. Everywhere! This is, this is a place, but that would mean sending more trains through here, probably, or sending them through here. And that's not, that's not preferable. We did just redo this, but it's, it's far from perfect. In fact, I'd say it's far from good. It's just not, just doesn't have it. It doesn't quite have it. Oh, great. Oh god damn it! And we—I di just made a repeat. All right, you get out of there. You get there. You're fine. All right, I should. No, wrong thing. I should get rid of these signals right here. They may be set. They may be pseudo beneficial. But in the end, they're just causing problems. Also, there's no reason you should be here. Literally none. I don't know how you keep screwing this up, people. I don't know. 
where do you think you're gonna go? You go this way? That goes to this? Idiotic. What are the waypoints for, anyways? Oh, well, that's not waypoints. That's the station. I don't think you have enough room to turn around if you go to the passenger station, though. So that's, that's a big problem. Come on. Alright, well, you're just going back in here. You'll have to start all over again. You should do an express train. What are you doing? You went this way. How? How did you end up going this way? I probably got backed up and just drove into there. Alright. I'm gonna get rid of these gantries. There. That should solve these problems. But that should solve the problem that just occurred. I don't know about any other ones. I don't know, uh, you know, it's not gonna cure your STDs. Don't look at me like that, I know. Okay. This needs to be rebuilt. It's, it's not terrible as is, but this bottleneck is a real problem. Especially if I want to pipe more trains through here. Which I do. Uh, I feel like this area of the map is kind of underused. This, ar this area is good. But this area is underused. This area, of course, is hardly touched. Uh, where I could have a train coming from here and another one coming from here. Which, you know, now that I say that out loud, it's something I probably should be doing. This town is not connected to anything. This is not. This is not. Of course, these stations are not set up for this. And it's kind of like the freight main lines come first, and then whatever I want to do with passengers comes after that. That's, it's a, it's playing second fiddle. No idea what you're doing here. Route through waypoint three. Oh, let me guess you didn't make it into here. You've got a you've got a pretty solid load though. After all that after all that you were doing stuck in here, then you just get screwed. Alright. I do need to not let you leave though, because it, you will. I, don't. I just heard a plunk. Somebody play something. Hey, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? I like how the station was on the edge of town originally, and now it's not. Oh my god, what have you done? Okay, whatever. I've seen worse. Come on. See, I can see why you'd want to cross over there. I don't know why I included this this little turn here. I feel like this should be a this should be a flyover. And then And then this train that gets siphoned into there is not too too bad. But there should be at least two tracks coming into here. Bump these bridge abutments back and we have the ability to separate the two inputs. Although there should be some sort of crossovers beforehand to let trains get on the right track. Because the middle two, you can have both feed into the station, that would not be too bad. Uh, but the outer two, this has got to go this way, this has got to go this way, this one's got to go this way. You know, it Focusing them all into one track is good for that purpose, because it means any train can go in any direction they need to go, but at the same time, it's bad because... Oh, that actually worked. First try. Awesome. Uh, for any other train, for, you know, for, for most things, it's bad because it's a limitation on capacity, a serious limitation.
Speaking of capacity, I think most of my two track stations have hit their limit uh, for passenger trains. Everything going good? How much is waiting here now? 300 tons. Still not great. But look at how much steel is piling up. That's good. Now, I need to push this enough in this direction that I can send a train up and over. Although, I don't think it's feasible because of the way this is. So, I can't do that. I need to think about what I can do to this intersection to make it not suck. You know, having, it, having everything go on one track, like I said, is great, but it's not great for congestion. Unfortunately, or, you know, fortunately, we have not had too many big problems with congestion over here so far, but once I start trying to push more stuff through it, they're going to be right there on the horizon, so I'm not too keen on attempting. Here's the other thing. I should just put this guy on his own track because he's blocking both of the tracks when he tries to get through here. So I'm going to do that. This is the, you know, focusing on the minutia because I can't think about the big picture right now. I don't want to uh, think about the big picture right now. Not not smart, but in the end, uh, it's, a, it's a coping mechanism. Oh, the tracks. Oh, hey. That way a train coming through here will not interrupt both tracks. Also it means that I can... If I attach this directly to this, a train coming through and going this way will not interrupt both tracks. Although it didn't already, so never mind. I feel like there's a way to do that to allow more crossovers. I'm not sure what it is yet, though. Oh, there's no train over here. Where's the? Oh, he's right there. Yeah, this uh, this output is not so good either. With this running around the back of the station here. Bottlenecks everywhere on this end of the map. Hmm. Okay, but what about this? So he's pulling in there. He'll be able to get out and get around, which is fine. Wow! Ooh, mail truck. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna unload. I'm gonna build the station here. So it's going to be just some roofless freight platforms like that, and then I'm going to get the length of it once this guy is done unloading. Uh, we do need to have some sort of pickup train here for the steel, which is something that I kind of have forgotten about, but now that I've remembered it, it's kind of important. But we'll have it run down to there. We'll have it run down to there, in, you know, concurrent with this train, so that you get stuff dropped off at the same time. It won't be that much, but it'll happen. Uh, so, you need to get put here. And you're carrying... You have... Eight gondolas that have 40 apiece. So that's... Eight times four is... 32, uh, so it's 320, and if I add some other stuff, we've got all diesels now, wow, uh, if I add, let's see, we've got mechanical reefers now, that's nice, these auto parts boxcars that have 34 a piece, if I add eight of those, how long is the train going to be, or no, if I add nine of them, because they're a little bit short, 
Uh, do we have B units for these? I actually do. I have B units for some of them at least. Oh, this would be L2s. I thought they were sharks. Okay, so. I kind of don't want these because they only have 1500 horsepower and we have much newer, better stuff right now. What is this? Oh, it's a thingy. Okay, I'm gonna swap these out for GT engines. Let me just put these on a different thing real quick. Oops, I don't wanna buy that. And what I'll do is I'll put you over here. And if I had a little bit more room, I'd probably be uh, doing something a little bit different. So, you already went through there, and then you came through here, and then you made it back. Well, that's what we're going to pretend anyways. And so after you unload there, stop it, Tucker. Thing, get rid of. Well, you do. You can. I, I can keep that. And then you're gonna drive this way, which is gonna be the only option when I remove the loop to Upper Linshore. And now let's see how much you can fit. In upper okay, so it's to the very end here. So let's build our gantry. I wonder if there's any way we can cram more horsepower onto this. Whoops. I kind of screwed up with my single placement there. Alright. We need to use this area for making a crossover. Except that's kind of impossible with the way things are set up. We can... We, we can't, really. Unless I just do something like this. And that's how we can do it. Hold on. Alright, this is going to be an interesting one. Every track needs to reach every other track with some form of... With some sort of insulation some sort. But basically, based on what we've seen, say, right over... Everything over there is fine. Where is the entrance of the thing? This one right here. So we need crossovers to come in, then a crossover in the middle, then two more crossovers at the end. What are you waiting for? This, that was like the ghost train thing I was talking about. There's not actually a train, and, the, you know, the trains know there isn't a train, but the signal doesn't. I don't think that's what was happening at the other place, though. Alright, so there's the first crossover on that. We need one between the middle two tracks. And we also need one here. It's gonna be a long intersection. With plenty of filler. At spots where I know we can't... We either can't put signals or we can't put... Crossings or something. I think I can move this, actually. Move this to right up here. Now, the outer tracks are going to have one ways. Alright, that misclick, which that was a misclick, full disclosure, uh, just told me how I have to do this. Okay, that doesn't work though. No. 
These are the two middle tracks. These are the two middle tracks. I need to get one from this side to that side. I think I can put a signal there. And if I can, that's that's sort of case closed game over. I'm gonna use dwarfs here. No. I can put one there though. That's not what I need. I need one to be here. All right. Well, it's the entrance to a. Uh, it's the entrance to what's effectively a yard. I guess I can get away with a tighter turn. Oh wait, I actually need this to be. And then we can actually use normal crossovers for this one. Okay, so put this here. Build some normal crossovers. Just a normal old two sets of double cross. Oh, we can't do that. Damn. Screw it, I'll just bump this up by one. Yeah, smallest amount of space possible. Trust me. Alright, so we have signals there, we have signals there, we have signals up here, we have the two one ways that we need. And now let's throw in some searchlights for the entrance. Wrong way. Okay. I think we did it. I think. I think we did it. Alright, so let's add some more sets of signals. I did not want to destroy that tree. Alright, and then over here, another set of signals. I mean, because there are going to be oh so many trains on this line, we've got to be careful about the number of signals that we have. It's a joke, right now there's only one train in the line. Oh crap, I just put these backwards. What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright. Alright, we've got uh, we've got signals. Let me just connect that. Undo this. Throw in some signals here. Because that's just where they belong, really. Alright, so then you go to Upper Lynn Shore. And then you come back. Oh, you should probably be an express train. I used the BL2s for something else, but for now I'm going to park them here. Because of, you know, I want to keep them out of the way, I guess. Still keep them in sight, so I remember them. Really, this is, this is kind of hilarious with the amount of trucks that are moving in and out of here now. 166 tons of oil. Oh, so many. I don't really want to say it out loud, but I think that everything else is going more or less smoothly. How's the uh, pileup of stuff over here? That's actually good. Good, we, uh, we beat that down a little bit. Let's see the graph. It's gone up a little bit, I think. Okay, what else? What's next? On the problem list, I'm not sure what's next, really. Signal block is occupied. I know everything seems all right. I uh, again, I don't really want to jinx it. 
things are going more or less smoothly. Like I said, though, these uh, these stations, especially this one here, Upper East Raventon, with the fact that the entrance is so messy, is they're, they're going to hit capacity, or they've already hit capacity. That is, we're going to be running into a problem rather soon with the amount of trains we can put through here in terms of passenger trains, because... I'm going to want to connect up with passengers every major city that I deal with. Where are you going this way? Wait, what the hell? Oh, god damn it. Why are we left side running? Over here, I. Why do you guys not say anything? I'm sure you did. All right. Uh, put the signals the right way. I'll call it a day at that. All right. Those guys go this way. Next set of signals. I mean, it makes my evil plans a little easier. Alright. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Yeah, because I want to connect up these farms. Which should really come as no surprise to anyone. But it's something that I actually want to do. Especially now that we've lost that other farm. Which, you know, with a little bit of effort we can still connect to. But I don't want to do that with the... Uh, I don't want to do that with the... With the 060s. I think I'm going to take them out of service, put them somewhere else. Maybe in some sort of commuter service. Uh, and instead... Maybe start pulling the... Maybe start pulling the... L1s off of our heavy freight service, putting them on passengers, and, oops, Did I signal, okay, yeah, pulling them off heavy freight service, putting them on passenger service, and, you know, replacing the passenger trains with some, replacing the heavy freight trains with some big diseases. Because it's 1964. You know, not like that's really a motivation, just because I don't feel like replacing anything. There's not, you know, there's not any huge incentive for me to do that. But I feel like it kind of is sensible at this point, just to create, just to allow more throughput, because the newer engines are going to have more power overall. Also, wait, weren't you instructed to route through? Oh no, you weren't. There. Grumble, grumble. Alright, that guy figured it out. This guy's going the right way. Everything seems to be more or less working. I feel like I'm repeating myself an awful lot, but really I feel like that's the case. Uh, I'm just happy when stuff works. I need to build in some sort of thingy over here, though. Maybe, uh, you know, you can just come off this line. There needs to be some crossovers on this stretch because almost the whole thing is diagonal. It's kind of... It's kind of saying that this whole darn thing is on a diagonal. I would not have done this if... I would not have done this at all if it weren't for this giant body of water here. Thank you, Scary Yoshi. I'm looking forward to the next map. But what was my thing? I need to reach 48%. I don't even know how to do that. Like I've said. Or I need to reach 80%. Again, don't know how to do that. What was my, uh... Yeah. 
Progress towards completing challenge 60%. Not right now. That's where these guys go. They're gonna pull into the station. They're gonna start. Which is good. Wow, that's a lot of coal. Why is it always 34? I feel like last time I looked it was 34 as well. Yeah, I wish, uh, is there anyone out there that can give me an actual breakdown of why, or you know, how the performance index works? Because for the life of me, I have no idea. I just know that if you do good, it goes up. And, uh, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to game the system. Early, I think I'm gonna be here right until, uh, until Skuriyoshi's like, Alright, next map! Come, I gotta... Come here, I got something good for ya. To be honest, we could probably funnel these together and build our own... Uh, like another set of trains that goes over here, but the other thing that I should be paying attention to is I should be shipping more food out from there. I said it was going to end the episode, I didn't. You didn't make it over there. You're supposed to go through here to over there. Alright, well, let me show you what your problem is, I think. You go through here. Alright. Alright, you went in here too. Yeah, let me tell you where your problem is. You need to go through here. Right there. You guys should be figuring that one out. It's okay. This, though, this is something else. I don't know about this. I'm not sure if this track should be kept or gotten rid of. Because I feel like I need to do something else. I need to connect this to the over bridge thing if we're coming into here. But there's really no room for that. Not sure if it makes sense. Tell me you're okay. You're waiting and see. I mean, that's not good either. Yeah, that guy's gonna be lost forever. He's lost in the wash. I don't know. This is a. This is definitely an interesting map so far. This is probably the messiest and most interesting intersection I've ever built. And... I don't know, I'm trying out some new stuff, you know? This, this only really makes sense if you have a lot of stuff close together, so... It's, it's almost worth shutting down at this point. But... I don't know. This is the next thing. Yeah, this area, this area needs to be looked at once again, and the next important thing that should probably be done is A, make this a little bit more sensical, I'm not sure how, and B, redo this in order to take advantage of the newly fixed this. Again, I'm, I'm still thinking the old stone bridge might have to come down. If I nudge everything over, move this over to here. Uh, I don't know. Or, you know, at least be put out of service. Because I can get rid of this now. This is so much more room for me to play with things as they drive in. Because I don't think I'm going to build this all the way to there. I don't think... 
I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think it really makes a lot of sense. So, having more stuff come in from here is going to necessitate making this better. You know, at the very least, making it a you know one way in and one way out instead of one main line that's a bi-directional section, which has worked admittedly really well for what it is. You know, I know locomotion isn't too keen on that most of the time, but yeah, no, it's just not it's not the best that it could be, and it really needs a it, it needs a hard look. That was a good use of that. It, it needs a it needs a pretty hard look just to just to know that, or just to increase this throughput if we're gonna do what I think we should do. I'm still not sure what to do with this line though, because if I build a second bridge of parallel to here, it's just gonna be okay. Attach this like this. And that's really what I probably should be doing, is just building a bridge, building a second bridge in parallel to this. Have there be a bridge that goes this way, and then this bridge that goes this way. And that, and it may just be as simple as that. That may be the smartest thing to do. And then, you know, over here maybe add a crossover, so that we can get trains to move around one another before they go into here. And that may be the best thing to do. This probably needs a good look as well. But that, uh, I'm gonna stare at this as I save the game so that when I come back, maybe I'll be thinking about those bi directional bridges. Or those, you know, those two different bridges that each go one direction so that we can increase throughput into the station there because this. I think I'm honestly underestimating in my head how much jam is caused by the fact that it's a bi-directional line. Anyways, train man out!